Yay, it's one of those videos where I get to use the tripod, right? Building kernels, testing kernels is hazardous, right? So if you're not up to it to see this, don't, right? Just don't. Test it out on machines that do not matter. Okay. Beware. Where I'm gonna put it on my left screen or my right screen, I have to put it somewhere. Something like this. It tells me to system CTL reboot or system default or exit, give root password for maintenance. That's what I get. I give in the password, login incorrect. Let's try again. Okay. I have this ugly ass thing. System product name Linux Linux 5.15.1. So that's the one I've built. That's my issue. I created that issue. So, how to fix it? My kernel is bad. sudo pacman minus remove Linux. Requires some stuff. We don't care about stuff. We can always reinstall Brocom. Anyway, Brocom. Dot VL. I don't need it. It's just for other users. It's not here on my machine. Broadcom. Hello? The Linux kernel is gone. Is there anything else that I still have? Pseudo Pacman. Let's do a clear. And go back to the top. Go down a bit. Pseudo Pacman minus remove Linux. What's so still on my machine? I still have the Linux Xenmod Edge and Linux Xenmod Edge headers still on the computer system that's documented in videos already. So I'm gonna keep that kernel. The, I've cleared it now, but the system actually ensures that kernel and grub and it all make init CPIO, it's all covered already so the only thing I hope I can do is if you run into issues like this I always say undo what you did and then it's just knowledge right Control alt f2 f3 go to tty and then in here go as well have a look so e and it says loading Linux Xenmod Edge so the Linux kernel that we had previously is gone Grub has updated. In here is again Xenmod and the other one as well. Okay, so we're gonna use the Xenmod kernel, and mine obviously was not okay. <laughs> and we're back, and that's what you need to do, right? Be aware of your surroundings, know what you did, and undo what you did. All right, cheers.